love it. I love that. It's hard. Great. But I, I have to say, when I did the first one, I wanted to run screaming from the booth. I didn't realize how hard it was. Yeah. Because when you're when you're acting for just a microphone with no audience right. and no actors to feed you, the energy just gets sucked into the mic for eight hours. Oh, and I yeah. literally sometimes, it's one of the most it's fun Do you do it all like in one sitting? You just sit down and do it? Just do it eight hours a day. It takes like four or five days. Uh, and you just drink a massive amount of coffee, <laughs> especially for Jim Butcher, because I I want it to be like someone is just sitting down over a cup of coffee and telling you a really good story. Uh, yeah. So I try to go really fast. Yeah. And so I caffeinate that. Nice. Yeah. Well, you do a fantastic job. We love it very much. Thank you. Man. I really appreciate it's it. Really nice. Thank you so much. Uh, great t-shirt. Thanks. Never had that one. Hey, brother. James. Good to see you, man. This one? Yeah. Oh. Mother, I was watching something unfold that was so unbelievable to me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're getting two. He had, he had the body I, language that you were looking at a cute baby. No, no, no. I, I'll tell you later. Okay. Which two are you getting? Uh, that one and which one? Which one do you think between these two? Ooh. Or well, a this friend's is, mother this is... who just is a lovely one. That one. All right. Sexy. I'll tell her like that you picked it that one. What's your name? Brian. B R I A N. I A N. Yes. Otherwise, it's brain. So, <laughs> right. so Brian, this is one of my favorite pictures, actually. Because this face is not acting. This is actually me pissed off for real. <laughs> I'm actually angry at the photographer for suggesting that I should spin around like a top so the coat spreads. He told me that, and I said, dude, I'm not Zoolander. I'm a vampire. I'm not going to do that. And he said, dude, do you want to go home? So I gave him one spin, and this is my face. Can I go home now? What's your mom's name? Uh, it's Vivi. Yeah. You mentioned that uh, you always play to go to solo. Yeah. Well, look, got me thinking about because, like, oh, sorry for the geek out. When, when your mom got to you, he still felt for her regardless of the deal. Because it kept being in control. So that's what I was like. I was just, I always thought that was because you always had some emotion that wasn't belligerent. Uh, well, even even though even after you returned, so that was the thing. It's like they wrote me as a really psychopathic killer, but a really great boyfriend, right? <laughs> and I was like, that that is a very interesting dichotomy because usually in real life, if a guy's abusive to other people, he will abuse his girlfriend too. That's yeah. just that's the way it goes. But okay, we're not going to do that. Um, so I thought that I thought without. Without knowing that they were, they were kind of leading me in that direction anyway. So I was like, I'm just going to take all of that, all of it, and give as much soul as I can in those other parts. And then they start to respond to that. Um, yeah, Josh told me that, that I taught him about, about <laughs> villainy, actually. The villains are people, too. Because he wasn't thinking in terms of those kind of terms. So I was like, dude, it's Shakespeare, but read it. Yeah. Buffy should have chosen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir.